first of all, you look at the issues. Yeah. Exit polls show the economy, 52, 53 percent deficit, about 8 percent. Right. I mean, it was clearly, clearly the economy. But sure. also... It was clear that Republicans had a 50-state strategy. Uh, absolutely. Did not, now, I got to go down. I know Karen. She wrote to the DNC and absolutely. Howard Dean was there. Yeah, absolutely. And, and one of the – I want to go back to 2006. Yeah. You had Rahm Emanuel. You had James Carville. You had all the people who were criticizing Howard Dean, then chairman of the DNC, right. for saying let's focus on 50 states. So what happened this year? 19 legislatures flipped. Yeah. This was the wor- now for a Democrat. This was the worst year because you now have reapportionment. You now have congressional districts now being redrawn. So did the Democrats return to being the national party, focusing on congressional races as opposed to governors' mansions and state houses as well? A- absolutely. And here's what's going to happen from a Republican perspective. Here's what's going to happen. They're going to drive a lot of the power down to the states, and so you're going to have the states controlling a lot of the agenda. The House, the Senate, okay, interesting, but at the end of the day, with, as you said, redistricting, uh, and, and as it relates to health care in particular, right. they're going to look at this issue of, they're not going to repeal health care. No, not. That's not going to happen. Yeah, it's well, just unfund, not to fund. No, well, well, they're they're gonna, not fund it, and also what they're going to do is try to push a lot of this responsibility for health care down to the governors. Yeah. This is going to be really the state rather than the federal government running this, and I think Democrats absolutely missed the boat on that. But can I say something key? Um, the black numbers were equivalent to 2008, but they're kind of deceptive. I mean, 2006, right. excuse me. Right. They're deceptive, though. I talked to David Besides of the Joint Center of Political and Economic Studies. He said, here's the deal. He said, the reason why they're deceptive, there are a lot of places that um, had a lower voter turnout in the African American community versus other places like New York, Ohio, uh, Illinois, mm-hmm. and California. They had a higher voter turnout, but other places, uh, around the country where uh, uh, the majority of black population, it was a lower turnout. So it's kind of deceptive numbers. It was 40% of the electorate, the black vote that went out there. 